Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So today I have a, another, um, what is this, it's a uh, box that uh, some books came in that I decided to turn into another journal for um, keeping some of my drawings in. So I took white gesso and I just started covering the box with the white gesso but I also wanted to use these uh, paper napkins to add some interest to the outside of uh, this box and so I pulled off the um, second layer of the napkin as you saw me there um, in the beginning and started tearing up the pieces and putting them on the box and so I'm dipping my paintbrush into water because um, the gesso is uh, pretty opaque and it will completely cover up the design if um, I put the gesso on there straight on top of the napkins and I'm using the gesso you know as um, a way to adhere the napkin to the box but I want to be able to see the napkin so I'm just using water to kind of delete the gesso a little bit so that you can still see the napkin and you see here that you know a good part of the box is already kind of drying so you can see the design of the napkins that I put on this box and I set it aside to let it completely dry I um, ended up letting it dry overnight I'm sort of impatient with that but you know, I tried, I decided I was going to be patient and I would let it completely dry. And so I decided to use ink tints to um, put color on the outside of this box because I know that once ink tints dries, it will be permanent. And so I wanted to make sure I put something on here where um, I could still see the design, <clears throat> but also have it, you know, add some color to the outside of the box and um, and be permanent so that if it gets wet for some reason you know it won't um, start reactivating the color so here I've covered the box with color and then I'm just going over it in certain areas where I wanted to um, strengthen and brighten up the color to get the um, outside completely covered to you know where I was happy with it so that's what I'm doing here. And so here is the um, watercolor block that I'm going to use to do my little painting slash drawings on that I'll be putting the pictures um, in this box. And so I take um, some of this um, raffia or whatever it's called, the string here, and uh, decided to tie it around the box to help secure it. So I was just trying to determine how I was going to, you know, keep that closed. And then decided to um, do some stamping on the box. So I'm just using this butterfly to stamp some images on the box. And I could have stamped a lot more onto it, and I may do more with it later, but that's pretty much. Um, uh, how I created this little portfolio. If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. Um, you can also leave me a comment. Um, and you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And um, so I'm just, again, you know, looking to see how this is going to work. And tying this string on here. And uh, you can see I just got a new Tim Holtz Tonic Studio there. And... So I'm really excited to use that. I just pulled it out of the box and set it on my desk and hadn't really used it yet. But um, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about using it and seeing how it works, you know, if it's going to help. Because, uh, yeah, when I start creating, I end up with stuff all over the place. And Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.